And the wait is almost over. We're just nine days away from the start of NASCAR All-Star Weekend at North Wilkesboro Speedway. Today we got a sneak peek at the renovations that have been made to the track, and that is where we find Kenny Beck. Hey, Kenny. Hey, I tell you what, uh, this has been an unbelievable experience, and we're still 11 days out from the All-Star Race. Everybody here is so happy. We're talking about retired drivers, broadcasters, fans. This is the big open house event tonight. They open the doors at 5 o'clock. You can see how many people are already here. They have food trucks. They have drivers that are signing. Everybody is so thrilled to be back here because there's been this longing for such a long time for the Cup Series to return. We shot some video earlier, and I think the best way to describe what they've done to the track is in places it is intentionally imperfect. That includes the start finish line. They were painting that earlier today. It's not perfect, but that's very much by design. There are still some spots on the stairs that look like they could use a little paint. They're not going to touch those. They want this to have an historic feel. They want the nostalgia to very much be part of the equation here. We caught up with one fan earlier today. I don't know if fan is the right way to describe it. Mega fan, Wilkes County lifer. He told me he's having a difficult time putting into words what this means to him being here today. Now, are you here as a fan, or are you operating one of the food trucks here? Now, what does it look like? Looks like you're here as a fan. Yeah. I, I couldn't tell what that was. That that might have been a diet, Mr. Pibb. Do I look like I'm on a diet? <laughs> Why was it so important to you to be one of the first fans in here for the open house tonight? Well, I came and helped my brother-in-law's brother come and set up. I came here in 1962 when I was nine years old, my first race. I'm 70 year old now. I've not missed a race since 1962. And when we drove through the gate, I almost cried. We need this. Truly, we need it. And that is a sentiment that we have heard repeated from so many people, people who came here when they were children with their own parents. Now they are parents themselves here with their own kids, telling stories about what races used to be like, stories about guys like Jeff Gordon, stories about guys like Dale Earnhardt, dating back to a generation before Richard Petty, Darrell Waltrip, guys like that. This is this is nostalgia. This uh, a lot of field of dreams comparisons. <laughs> Marcus Smith, the CEO of Speedway Motorsports, earlier today told me this went from a field of weeds to the field of dreams, a racetrack of dreams, if you will. And there's more still to come tonight. The grandstand over there, the big set of uh, seats, that's going to be dedicated in about an hour or so to a very, very special person, someone who means a lot to this community, someone who means a lot to the sport of NASCAR. We're going to have that story for you tonight at 10 over on the Triad CW and 11 right here on WXII. But guys, if, if today's turnout and energy is any indication of what we're going to see next week for All-Star Race, it's going to be an unforgettable week here in North Wilkesboro.